tonight from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on Andy Dalton and the New Orleans Saints. And we're about five miles northwest of downtown Tampa at beautiful Raymond James Stadium near Florida's Gulf Coast. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the punter, Jake Camarda, set to do the honors, and off we go now from Tampa. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by a three-time Pro Bowler, owner of over 35,000 passing yards in 11 seasons, the veteran Andy Dalton. I love his football IQ. I love his ability to have people rally around him. And as he likes to remind me all the time when I get ready to call one of his games, I can run it a little bit too. A nice presence to have on your team. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 30 on second down, Dalton. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now Dalton. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And this is going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is fielded at the 7, and he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Bucks are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. Well, for a little bit, we thought his story had concluded, but not to be. Here's Tom Brady in his 23rd NFL season, leading the Bucks' offense out once again. And at one point, he announced to the NFL world that he had accomplished everything he needed to and was going to retire, but then reversed that decision. And I think everyone who likes football loves the fact that he's still out there throwing it around and still at the top of his game. In a career that's seen and accomplished just about everything, he figured there's always room to add to that legacy. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Oh, 
Heavy set out there on third and one. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. On first and ten, here's Brady. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Fournette on the counter. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Brady and Brady, the tight end's got it. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four four, but might need to be 5-5 five five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Cameron Jordan in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Play action here with Dalton. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Throwing, Dalton. Back to Kamara for another catch. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Andy Dalton. He gets this one complete and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. 
And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Try to run for him. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second and 11 now, Dalton. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. That's out to the flat for Ingram. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. Three yards, all they can muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. Going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Meanwhile, Brady's throw on target to Godwin here. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 38-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Brady now on first down. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he'll be brought down at the 27. That's the third time on this drive that these two are connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Here we go now on first and goal. A carry here for the big tight end. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Coke 
Keeft taking it in from a yard out. And the Buccaneers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Extra point up and good by Succo. And that makes the score 7-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Again, it's Kamara. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. So Dalton now. It's caught, Smith. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 17 there and a New Orleans first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Dalton's throw caught by Alave. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Dalton here from the gun. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Vita Vea busting through to get him for a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Here's Kamara off the draw. Able to slither by, and he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They look to throw on third with Dalton. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it eight. Now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. And they're able to pick up the first and keep possession. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. And Dalton to throw. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Dalton operating in the red zone now. His throw incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Dalton's throw there taken in by Smith. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. The offense on third down tonight. Two for five to this point. This is third and seven. And it'll be Dalton again. Now he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Jarvis Landry, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Saints are an extra point away now from tying this ball game.
Lutz with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And it's Jarvis Landry who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Brady. The left side completion to Jones. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Brady. And this is caught by Evans. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. They all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Fournette, a first down carry. David Onyemata there on the tackle. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll try and run forward with Fournette, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. On play action, now Brady. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and can you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've come. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Leonard Fournette, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough 
to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Dalton's throw complete there to Johnson. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two for Dalton. too much. Down he goes. Vita Vea able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense so he kept going backwards hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Brady and the Buccaneers here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 64 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Brady now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Evans. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Still nine remaining on second down. On play action, it's Brady. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Up the gut, Fournette. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Brady's throw complete here, pulled in by Brady. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Inside handoff now to Fournette. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Brady. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up. Not that time. into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And the Saints are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. There, D gets the INT. Now what can Dalton do? 
So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he's able to get up here to the 26. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. From the end zone, here comes Jalen Darden. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here's a give to Fournette. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it, and then getting a little close to the first down. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Now Dalton with a first and ten. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Second down and eight. Passing, it's Dalton. He'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. The kick by Lutz is good. And he'll cut the lead back. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball to the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. Try to disrupt Julio Jones there, the intended target. A little too close, got the flag thrown. I'm not sure anyone can cover Julio Jones one-on-one -on -one for very long without getting their share of pass interference calls. His size, his speed, his physicality makes it almost impossible to do. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now a play fake, Brady. 
steps away. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Tom Brady flashing the mobility, scrambling there for a first down. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. On the, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And quickly, they get to the line. Throwing on second and long. Brady to Evans on the slant. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Cameron Bray from four yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that makes it a 21-10 game. So the drive there took six plays, and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21-10 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Dalton. Slant pass complete to Alave. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 12 yards at time for number 12 as they move the chains. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. We'll get this up to about the 44. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now it's Kamara in the passing game, and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. On first down, Brady. Quick throw, fighting Mike Evans. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. A 
handoff to Fournette. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. From the 25 on second down, Brady. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35. now as they come up on first and ten. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 29, Dalton. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Just what they did for me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. And that is incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. <laughs> cold-blooded. <laughs> so the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Meanwhile, Brady's throw complete to Otten. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Brady on third down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. A good position to be in here, second and inches. A give to Kamara running right. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. A busy night continues for Kamara. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official in call. And that falls to the ground incomplete. 
A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Dalton. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They run. It's Kamara. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Dalton, first and ten. They go screen. This is Ingram. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. To throw again on second down. Dalton looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ingram. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Here's Dalton. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. They're running. Ingram. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. Mark Ingram unable to get past the marker. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 47 yards. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover and put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And Mike 20, Mike 20. Now Brady. Looking deep for Julio. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. I remember a coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by. And these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes. But there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, they've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. Here it's third and two. Over the middle to Evans. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17-yard line. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now Leonard Fournette. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Now Brady. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. 
That's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And the lead is up to 15 now. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Well, they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And his throw here is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. To throw here, Dalton. Got an open man, it's Alave. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 there and a New Orleans first down. Dalton now to pass. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. They find some open field here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Andy Dalton. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So Dalton now. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Nice, smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And they're able to corral him right around the eight, and that's short of the first down. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. The kick by Lutz is good. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So he remains perfect, three for three, in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Leonard Fournette making his way back out there. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Throwing, Dalton. 
touchdown. Juwan Johnson from six yards away. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Lutz good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball, said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. 140 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Again, it's Fournette. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Mike Evans with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bucs are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that can win the game for us. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. First and ten for Dalton. Over the middle complete. It's Smith. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Dalton sets up play action. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Devin White defeating the offensive line and getting to the quarterback. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Dalton here from the gun. He's got it to Ingram, complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. And Dalton to throw. And that will be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Big fourth down here. It's Dalton. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur.
curve, so they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Brady going to throw. It's caught. This is White. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out. And he's got it. Caught the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Buccaneers have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Extra point put through by Suckham. And that will make this a 19-point game. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. They set themselves behind the chains, trying to get it all back in one play, and it backfired. Didn't it feel like a pitcher working his way into a 3-0 count, right? You're behind. What do your coaches always tell you? Get it back one pitch at a time. In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. So after the INT, it's Brady. And Brady has it over the middle. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll run with Fournette. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets them nine yards in a first. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Play action. Now it's Brady. 
A bullet throw, but incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Suckup's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. He's going to drop this underneath to Ingram. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. And it'll be Dalton again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Ingram. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's Dalton. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. To throw again on second down. Dalton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Buccaneers are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. And he's going to lose yardage back to his own one-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Brady going to throw here. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. From his end zone, it's Brady on third and long. And oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.